it's interesting. I mean, maybe I exist in the middle, but I'm hedonistic in nature, so. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, if it isn't the best pizza eater on the internet, I'll back at it again. All right, y'all, what up? What's truly crapping in with y'all? What's really, really, honestly, truly good with y'all? On the new camera, once again, testing, lights, things like that. Hard to get it right, but I will say this, I think we're coming along. I've never tried this deep dish, deep dish pizza from Little Caesar. So very uh, Detroit, crispy edges, puffy, like almost pan fried in a sense. Also, y'all know me couple buffalo wines. I'll give you the uh, viewer's choice awards. I don't even know. You guys get to know before me. I don't have a clue what's going on there, but does it look good? Tell me in the comments. Oh, tell me, tell me those aren't looking fantastic. Uh, before we do anything more, I just want to talk about this though. So see this? Hidden Valley Ranch, but do you see that light? That's all I could get at the store one time, and I hated that reality. This, this is ranch, full fat. Cause guess what? If we're eating wings, pizza, garbage, food, all this BS, why would I ever have light ranch? Why would I ever not have full fat ranch? A moment, a moment. I really hope that's so zooming in on the interior of that situation, of that pizza, of that crust. Yo. I guess I should show you the bottom too. It's a whole new world. I might be cringy as fuck. Or I might be entertaining and relatable as fuck. I don't know. This is also a wing. Buffalo. Um, so I've never tried the deep dish pizza from Little Caesars. And I gotta say, as per my other Little Caesars experiences, this pizza is stupid good. That's cartilage, full savage. Now, when it comes to this pizza, I was fully, fully, fully expecting a more like sturdy, thicker, style dough and crust. I was not expecting 
Pizza Hut style dough and crust. Mm. But it's exactly what this is. It's Pizza Hut. style dough and crust in a square or rectangle. Is it as good as Pizza Hut? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Isn't it hilarious though that I'm using this is a this is my my jug for my juicer. I bought a juicer like to get healthy, like celery juices and all these juices. And this is the jug that you would use to receive the juices that you put under the spout but instead of receiving juices it's receiving stola chinea and aha soda to have a good ass time that's what it is that's what life's about it's about a good ass time you know what i mean it's about some nice good wings it's about some pizza it's about ranch Maybe we do that. It's about ranch. It's about delicious. Hedonistic. Pleasure choices. Up until it isn't. Yes, I'm going this crazy. I'm about to do a stupid pizza sandwich. Blast in stupid Hidden Valley Pizza Ranch. In this racket, that's what the internet wants. The internet wants a self-indulgent self-destructive controversial gluttonous asshole of a human that's what the internet wants <clears throat> I can't give it to him I can give them though somebody who smashes food that's for sure And puts less than ideal. Probably problematic food sources into said body. That's legit. if I'm being 
completely honest and truly transparent. Yeah, I would definitely off camera still order and eat this bullshit. So I might as well do it on your camera too. Makes no sense not to. I love food like this. I love bad food. Don't we all? It's definitely a pleasure sensor thing. Once again, to iterate back to hedonistic vibes, hedonism. Meaning, pleasure seeking. Living for pleasure. Very interesting concept to my mind because a lot of people condemn or look down upon hedonism, living for pleasure. Now I know that it's an extreme, it's not the right way to live probably. But I think it's certainly more enjoyable. And uh, a lot of people are scared to leave, live hedonistically because they fear the consequence, the ultimate consequence, death or whatever of giving in to your true nature of, of, of pleasure seeking. And I feel like when we live in this world day to day a lot of us are pleasure seeking a lot of us want to just feel good and to feel good you have to make um you know choices that are seen as negative or bad for you or you know that's gonna kill you someday type of shit. But the reality is everything's going to kill you someday. Life is going to kill you someday. The fact that you are, the fact that you were born, the fact that you're here, that's going to kill you someday because you are. You know what I mean? And I feel like A lot of people are scared to make like harmful choices to themselves based upon self-preservation but when you're living in self-preservation you're living in that middle zone it's like living in that medium that middle it's like being told what to do every day. It's like being an employee. It's like having a boss. And the boss is like telling you to like, you know, be boring. Don't do too much. Na 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 na. It's all na 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 na. When in reality, you look at somebody like Nikki Six, right? Rock star. rock stars in general they lived through the insane shit right made hedonistic choices their whole life they did every drug they drank they smoked they did everything they ate bullshit 
They stayed up nights. They toured. They're 75. 80 years old. Still here. Still touring, some of them, in their 60s, 70s. Made hedonistic choices their whole last life. That spits in the face of like safety. If you feel like this is gonna make you stoked, eating this fucking pizza, drinking a bottle of alcohol, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying that anything's right or wrong because there's no such thing as right or wrong. There's just what happens and what doesn't happen, and it's all relative to your life. And those are called choices. And you have to live with those choices or die with those choices. But they're yours to make. And my choice is to eat bullshit, entertain you, but also try to enlighten you to the fact that, like, you don't have to exist in the ideals of other people, of you, and, like, you can do what you want and still be successful. You can make bad, bad choices and still be very successful. Like I said, back to rock stars. These people who live the craziest lives should be dead, aren't. Does that speak to a higher power? I don't know, maybe. Does that speak to genealogy? Are their genes geared for that? Maybe. Maybe they have the type of uh, body that is designed to handle that kind of, you know, destructive input. Or, is there a higher power? They were sent here for a purpose. And no matter what they do to their body, that higher purpose is going to keep them here to fulfill said higher purpose. They were supposed to become rock stars. They were supposed to be here for that. They were supposed to influence this world in that way. I don't know. Because we don't have any answers. This whole life is a mystery. Everything is a crapshoot. No, none of us know why we're here. We're all in the dark. None of us know what we're doing. We're just trying our best to, to, to do the thing that feels natural and right to us. And for some people, it's praising the Lord and eating clean and going for runs. And for some people, it's doing cocaine and smoking darts, cigarettes, in the dark, in like a shitty after hours and eating pizza until their heart's content. And sometimes the runner chick or guy or whoever the mom, the dad, they die from cancer at 34, 42. And sometimes the degenerate fucker eats this almost every day of his or her life, does heroin. Cocaine, drinks, smokes, 73, 74, 75, 80, 85, still doing the same shit. Why? No rhyme or reason. Because there's no rhyme or reason to this shit called life. There isn't. It just is what it is. You get what you get. Is it predestined, predetermined? Is it roll of the dice? Once again, I don't know, you don't know, none of us know. You're a human being, you're in the dark. You showed up here and all you have is questions. You can't know. You can't know. And it's hilarious to think that people think that they know. So, started off very funny, like on a different level. Went into my deep head, which is fine because that's who I am by nature. I'm a very... I know that I don't know anything, and that is the best realization you could ever come to in this life, is to know that you don't know anything. To never stand on a pedestal, to never be complete in your belief of, of what is, because all you are is a human. 
and there's no right and wrong and there's n nothing definitive because we don't know anything we're just here making guesses all of the fucking time every day of what's best for us relative to our intuitive energy and apparently to me my intuitive my intuitive energy is to share that message through appreciating dirty food and cooking and music and even clean foods too like i do love clean foods as well but you know i have a different type of body i have a body where when i eat a salad i shit that shit out within an hour and it looks like the same when it went in as when it came out you know what i mean so my body's not really designed for vegetables so what does that say i honestly feel like as people we are of a certain, like we each are given a certain breed. Like some people are runners, some people are entrepreneurs, some people are followers, some people are leaders, some people like to cook, some people like to make music, some people like to invent products, some people are evil. I honestly feel like, and the same with diet, I honestly feel like you fall into a genre, genre, like some people's bodies are designed for vegetables and running. Some people's diets or bodies are designed for to absorb like meat and wheat and you know just different vibes like i just i honestly feel that way that's the only thing i can deduce at this time in my life it's like that everybody's so different and i feel like we're all given a category that we fall into but i do believe if the devil is like if we're talking about light and dark and the devil is active i feel like the devil's winning for sure when it comes to like, if you think about devilish things like food and and just like the internet and like media and all that stuff, like if God is if God is working out, and God is like good food and God is, I don't want to say awareness because I think I'm very aware. So I don't know. Maybe I'm pretty like demonic in sense. Like I think I'm pretty like devilish in terms of like my interests and what like sparks me. They say that music is the devil's playground as well. So. And I'm very into music, but I'm very aware too. Like I'm very self-aware. I understand what's like not a good vibe for the planet. Like a lot of mukbangers are eating like wait, like they're just ordering like a hundred, two hundred dollars of food, and they eat like two bites, three bites, and they throw it all out. Like that's not chill with me. Like I order food and try to eat it because you know it's sustenance for my body, even though it's technically bullshit, but. It's interesting. I, maybe I exist in the middle, but I'm hedonistic in nature. So <laughs> I don't know what this video was out of control at the end, but this is how I feel a lot of the time. And this is like my really true, true, true truth. Could be the alcohol. It is definitely the alcohol, but the alcohol allows me to actually tell you guys the fucking truth. So, hey, that's me. Anyways, till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.